player ratings time outside Anfield, Liverpool 3, Bournemouth 0. Hold tight the Bournemouth fans, that's a long way to travel people. Eight or nine hours, big up to them for making the, uh, the trip. Fantastic day um, with Doyle up at Anfield today. What were they singing? Yeah. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah. Now, honestly, big up to them. They've travelled such a far way, so they were never, you know, really hoping to win today, but it is what it is. Um, shout out to, uh, to everyone that's locking in. Make sure you smash that like button, get your comments in, man the match, your favourite goal of the game as well, and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Player ratings time. Kelleher in goal, little Luis Diaz walking past there. Kelleher in goal, clean sheet. Whenever there's a clean sheet, I think you deserve at least an eight out of 10. Um, there was a moment, a bit of a crazy one where it's come off the line, he's had to get it out. But Cuevin Kelleher, strong today, really strong. It was almost like we didn't even notice Alisson wasn't playing. So eight out of 10 for Cuevin. The right back Trent, there was moments of absolute world-class play today from Trent, moments. Um, he gave it away a few times, but at the end of the day, it's part of a defence that keeps a clean sheet again. We've only conceded two goals in all comps this season now. So Trent, 7.5, um, get, gets the assist for Luis Diaz. That, you know what, Trent gets an eight. I'll give Trent an eight. Um, Virgil and Ibu at the back, once again, imperious. Especially Ibu. I mean, we know that Virgil van Dijk is the best centre-back in the world. But if he's the best, where's Canate? Is he the best? I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore because they're both well up there. So shout out to Ibu. Again, we absolutely love the guy and, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Diaz and my, maybe Ryan Gravenberch, I would have given him man of the match. Robbo, I'll give a seven. I'll give both centre-halves an eight, but I'll give Robbo a seven. Gave it away a few times, but decent game still. And Ryan Gravenberch, this is where I got from eight to an 8.5. Again, got a yellow card. No, didn't get a yellow card. Should have got one. Uh, gave it away a few times, but... The way that man can just roll a player out the way and, and move it onto the other foot, he drops the shoulders. He is in the form of his life right now. The form of his life, Ryan Gravenberch. Again, if Diaz didn't score two, we'd, be, we'd all be saying Ryan Gravenberch is the man of the match, which we've all said for the last three or four games. So 8.5 continues to impress me, continues to be consistent. Shout out to him. Uh, McAllister, some really nice bits and bobs. Um, 7.5 out of 8 in the midfield with him. Dominic Soboslai, I'll give him a 6.5 today. I don't think it was his best game. There was one moment where he's bearing down on goal, big strides, and he should have just shot with his left foot, and he kind of overran it, and he got dragged on maybe the 65th minute. So, yeah, Soboslai, not the best game for him today, but again, you know, did what he needed to do in the first half to ensure that you know, we were so far ahead. Um, so he gets a 6.5. Mo Salah, I'll be honest, Mo Salah had a really, really bad game today. And I don't mind saying that because 99% of Mo Salah's games are man of the matches or he scores or he gets an assist. I've got no problem with criticising Mo because he'll be going back tonight and criticising himself. And that's the top elite mentality of footballers. That's what he'll do. I give him a, f give him a five today. I give him a five. I think he could have scored three goals today. And, you know, some of the passes were well off of it. So... Yeah, not to worry though, because we won the game 3-0, so this isn't a concern, a deep-rooted concern, it's just, you know, he didn't have a good game. Uh, Luis Diaz, 9 out of 10. I would have given him 10 if, if he got that hat-trick goal. Um, he had a, a shot really well saved by Kepa, which could have been that one, it would have been his first of the day. So Luis Diaz, the, the finishing level that we're on now with Luis Diaz, every time he goes through or gets a chance, you think he's going to score. The mentality shift from fans now, Watching him is totally different. We've got so much more confidence. So Luis Diaz, man of the match, 9 out of 10. Uh, Darwin Nunez, a massive shout out to Darwin Nunez. 9 out of 10 for him today. And it's not just the goal, it's the defensive work as well. It's the perseverance to get back and defend as well. So shout out to Darwin, man. I was buzzing when he scored that goal. You could see the relief. Gakpo came on, could have scored. Um, Chiesa could have scored with his first touch. I'll give all the subs a six because they actually did impact the game. And they were good, so Arnie Slot gets a 9. 3-0 at home, could have been 6, could have been 7-0, but he gets a 9 out of 10 for me today. Let me know what you think. That is a great performance. We'll be back here on Wednesday with more of the same, hopefully. Take care.